Breaking news tonight. Prosecutors announcing that L.A. City Councilman Mark Ridley Thomas has been indicted on federal corruption charges. Also indicted the former dean of USC's School of Social Work, Marilyn Louise Flynn. This is a huge story. We are told those charges involve a bribery scheme stemming from Ridley Thomas's time on the L.A. County Board of Supervisors. The allegation is that Ridley Thomas received benefits from USC in exchange for support for contracts with the university. The 20 count indictment has been filed in L.A. federal court. I mean, this is a, a huge story. If you think about Mark Ridley Thomas, Christine, as, as we welcome you to the Fox 11 News at 5 o'clock, he is a, a huge figure in the history of L.A. politics uh, who has been a major player in various different levels of government for over 30 years. Alex, he once noted that he took office the same year I started here at Fox 30 years ago. Uh, this is going to be really shocking news for members of the community when you think of all the time he has been in service in government, city council, L.A. County Board of Supervisors, and back to L.A. City Council. And one of the most significant African-American leaders in the history yes, of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Also, another black eye for USC, which has had scandal after scandal, and this yet another one. It ended up taking down the career of his son, Sebastian Ridley yeah. Thomas, this scandal, now potentially ending his career as well. Uh, remember, Mark Ridley Thomas was somebody that there was a lot of thought that he might run for mayor of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of people who were wondering why didn't he run. There was some speculation at the time it might have to do with this. Yeah. And now, who knows what happens to that council seat? According to the LA Times, it all has to do with money, uh, going back to the university funneled from that supervisor's account there, also involving his son who has a nonprofit and his son going to school at USC. We'll, We're going to follow this story here. We'll talk a lot more about it. At 6 o'clock, we'll be down. joined by uh, LA Magazine insider John Rigardi, who's done a lot of reporting on this as well.